Hello, and how are you doing today? If you're looking to incorporate in Delaware, don't be confused by all the hype. If you're a public company with nationally traded shares on the New York Stock Exchange, or if you're looking to have a public company in the not too distant future, then perhaps incorporating in Delaware is an incredibly good option for you to consider. However, if you're a Georgia-based company, and you're looking to do business predominantly in Georgia, but perhaps expand nationally down in the future, but never intend to go public and never intend to have public stockholders, but you're just a small business owner looking to pursue the American dream, then incorporating in Delaware, or perhaps even incorporating in New Mexico, or other states that are promoting such, such as uh, perhaps Nevada, or, or looking at other options other than being domiciled here in Georgia, and domiciled means just solely to be legally incorporated here, and incorporating in those states is perhaps one of the worst things that you could do for your business. For example, if you have a Georgia business as a print shop, for example, or a CPA firm, or a law firm, or a doctor's practice, or any other varied types of businesses, including contracting, real estate, uh, restaurants, uh, distributors, manufacturers, retailers, if you have those type of businesses, or just any rank and file business owner, and you look to incorporate in Delaware, then what you will do is unduly complicate your tax situation, not simplify it. For if you do incorporate your Georgia business that's located here in Georgia in Delaware or Nevada, again, or one of those other states, or perhaps even a state that doesn't have state income tax, then what you've done is unduly complicated your tax situation. For in addition to incorporating New Mexico or Delaware or Nevada or those other states, then you also have to turn around and register your corporation that's domiciled or incorporated in another state as a foreign business to Georgia, meaning it's just registered somewhere else, but you have to legally register that corporation here in Georgia and continue to pay Georgia income taxes just as you would if the corporation is domiciled and incorporated here in Georgia by itself. So thus, you've not saved any income taxes, but now instead of doing one state corporate and personal income tax return for this typical small business owner who might be a S corporation or an LLC. Instead of just doing that in one state, now as a result of incorporating and domiciling in another state originally and having to register as a foreign corporation here in Georgia, again, you've unduly complicated your situation. Instead of having to do one corporate, one personal tax return for your business, now you have to do two. Don't fall into the hype. Make sure you find a CPA and an attorney who's going to work look out for you and your best interest and as always contact us freely at hiscpa.com hope you have a blessed day thanks